The nucleating idea for a graduate school meet is the fascinating observation that mechanics determine cellular processes. These processes may be as diverse as organ formation, inflammation and carcinogenesis and even include embryo implantation. Our working hypothesis is that these processes are regulated by a mechanobiological feedback cycle. Cells respond to mechanical stimuli, which result in altered cell behavior that in turn affects the mechanical environment and again leads to a cell response that changes cell behavior and so on and so forth. An understanding of this regulatory mechanism is a prerequisite for efficient tissue engineering and the treatment of multiple human diseases. We have therefore assembled a multidisciplinary team of experts to work out the mechanobiological feedback cycles. We focus on surface lining epithelia, such as the skin, which is exposed to extreme mechanical stress and strain. Cells feel the mechanics of their environment, they respond to this signal, and they also alter as a response the mechanics of their environment. This results in a feedback loop which is central to our research. Any researcher who wants to enter this field needs a strong background in very different disciplines in engineering, physics and life sciences. And this combination is not taught in any traditional curriculum. Our goal is to teach the necessary skills to improve communication and to bridge the gap between the engineering sciences up to life sciences. For example, we want to use stretching devices that we build ourselves to intervene in the mechanobiological feedback loop and to use then cell biological methods to analyze the cell response. And in such an endeavor, we want to build the basis for a long-lasting co uh, cooperation between the very different disciplines of science. For the development of biohybrid implants, the mechanobiological stimulation is essential to create mechanical, stable implants on the one hand and a functional epithelial layer on the other hand. At the Biotech Institute, we are developing novel bioreactor systems to create an environment for these kind of implants at physiological and pathophysiological conditions. In our project, we are preconditioning respiratory epithelium cells to develop a functional endobronchial substitute. Here, biomechanical stimuli are really important to guarantee a functional physiological behavior of the cells. So far, there is not much known on how to induce this directed ciliary movement. The graduate school MEET gives us the excellent opportunity to work together on a transdisciplinary approach with excellent PIs on the one hand and highly motivated PhD students on the other hand. Biocompatible materials are crucial if we want to grow cells in a 3D manner outside the body. In MEAT, we develop new type of biohybrid materials in order to supply and measure mechanical signals in a temporally and spatially controlled manner. The cells are grown in hydrophilic polymeric networks called hydrogels. We supply forces by actuating hydrogels, by defined flow, by stretching or by magnetic micromanipulation. Our approach allows us to study the effect of specific mechanical signals many of which superimpose in the much more complex physiological environment of the human body. Yeah. 
All tissues of our human body are derived from stem cells. Interestingly, we can invert that process and we can reprogram induced pluripotent stem cells from any tissue type that we have in our body. And then we can use these iPS cells, induced pluripotent cells, in order to differentiate them into specific um, tissues. The bottleneck then is how we can take these pluripotent stem cells and differentiate them back into specific cell types. And it has been shown that these cells have the capability to self-organize into embryo bodies that mimic early embryonic development. They have cystic structures and they really gather to specific areas in the embryo body, but it's largely how clear and unclear how the cell interaction, how cell forces, how mechanical stimulation can help to direct cell play decisions. And that's what we want to analyze in this graduate school. So we want to analyze how biomaterial, how cell forces, how cell interaction can help to really drive these induced proton stem cells towards specific cell types. Once we know about these specific cues um, and how we can use them in order to di specifically direct differentiation, we can produce any type of cell that we have in our human body. For example, we can produce, produce sensory neurons, um, as we have done here. And these sensory neurons are very important for pain perception and sensory neuropathies. And like this, we can now use that in order to model diseases and also test drugs and other potential therapeutics in order to help patients ultimately.